In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Cypress Cat. The Cypress Cat is a breed of cat. These cats are thought to have first come from ancient Egypt or Palestine. They were brought to the island of Cyprus by St. Helen. These are now common domestic cats that live in homes or outside. Many of these cats still live all over Cyprus. But, a large number are now feral. This means they are not tame and they run wild. The Cypress Cat is one of the most ancient breeds in the world. Some people claim they've been inhabiting the island of Cyprus for as many as 4,000 years. Others claim they've been around even longer than that. Whichever side you believe, one thing's clear. This is an old, old breed. So why more isn't known about them, who knows? But it's time to change that. If you are looking for a good family cat with a big personality, the Cypress Cat might be a good option for you. This is a breed that varies greatly from one cat to another in terms of personality. It can be hard to gauge exactly what an individual will be like, but they definitely look very nice. Here are a few interesting facts about the Cypress Cat which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Origin and History of Cypress Cats It is believed that the Cypress Cat is one of the oldest, if not the very oldest domestic cat breed. This cat is believed to come from the mountain regions of Cyprus, and is thought to predate Egyptian cats by up to 4,000 years, which makes this cat up to 5 to 6,000 years old. Other than that, there is not very much known about the Cyprus cat breed. The breed may be old, but if there are any other types of a cat in its DNA is unknown. It is known that the Cyprus cat was imported to Byzantium in the 4th century to control rat and snake populations in monasteries. 2. Nature of the breed the Cypress cat can vary greatly from one cat to another in terms of personality. Most of them are very friendly, sociable, and love being around people. It is not usually an independent cat that likes to be alone for any amount of time. However, some people have noted that their Cypress cats are independent and like to have solo time on occasion. They also vary in terms of handling. Some like to be picked up, petted, and make for good lap cats, while others detest it. This does not mean that they are not affectionate but they don't always like to be handled. What is certain about the Cypress cat is that it is a very active and playful cat breed. They love to run around, jump up to new heights, play with cat toys, and they are known for being explorative hunters as well. Either way, they usually want a lot of attention and interaction. 3. They're one of the oldest breeds ever to be domesticated. If the findings of an archaeology dig organized at a Neolithic site in southern Cyprus are right, the Cypress cat has been around even longer than everyone thinks and a lot longer than most of us thought possible. Until now, it's been widely believed that the first domesticated cats originated in Egypt around 7500 BC. But after researcher J.D. Vigne and his group uncovered the carefully buried bones of a cat on the site, the whole idea has been thrown into doubt. According to Vigne, the fact that the cat was buried next to human remains and artifacts suggests it had a status in the human settlement, something that would only have happened had it been domesticated. As the cat skeleton predates the earliest references to cats in Egyptian culture by around 4,000 years, it raises some interesting questions. 4. Their thick coats help them become better hunters. Whether you believe the story of St. Helen of Constantinople's boatload of cats or not, the one thing we know for sure is that the Cyprus cat is a ferocious hunter. During their early years, they became known for their legendary ability to hunt down even large prey like snakes and lizards. The only problem they faced was the cold, wet mountain weather in winter. As a way of coping, they developed the thick, bushy hair that characterizes their appearance today, along with their large, relatively muscular bodies. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. Cypress Cats Need Lots of Exercises If there's one thing Cypress Cats need plenty of, it's exercise. These active, playful little creatures need plenty of space to explore and run around in to stop them from becoming bored. As they also love company, they make a great addition to multi-pet households and will fit right into a family where someone is always at home. If you spend long stretches of the day at the office and equally long stretches of the evening at the bar, they might not be the best pet for you. 6. Cypress Cats Can Weigh Up To 16 Pounds The Cypress Cat is a strong, Robust little creature that typically weighs between 8 to 16 pounds, although exact sizes can vary considerably. As with most breeds, the male is usually taller and stockier than the female. 7. They don't enjoy being handled. Cypress cats make loyal and loving companions. But like most cats, they come with certain eccentricities and peculiarities you need to be aware of, 
at least if you want to keep on their good side. One of the things a lot of owners report is their dislike of being picked up. While they love a petting session as much as the next cat, steer clear of handling them too much. 8. Their eyes match their coat color. Cypress cats are usually found with a thick, furry coat that can either be short, sleek, and dense or mid-length and flowing. As for their coloring well, the sky's the limit. Tabby, color point mink, and striped tabby are the most common type of patterning. Solid colors are possible, but not that common. One of their most distinguishing and interesting features is their almond-shaped eyes, which can be any color but will most typically be the exact same shade as their coat. 9. Cypress Cat's Health and Possible Diseases The Cypress Cat is known for being quite a healthy and hardy cat. They are fairly rare, and not too much research has been done into their genetics. However, since they have been around for over 4,000 years, it is safe to assume that they are hardy and resilient. They may develop normal feline health conditions, such as minor heart diseases, periodontal disease, and kidney disease in cats, but nothing breed-specific. 10. Cypress Cat's Grooming The Cypress Cat has a fairly short, dense, and sleek coat. This cat does have quite the undercoat, as it originally comes from colder mountainous regions, and therefore it does shed a fair amount, especially as temperatures start to rise with the seasons. Their fur is not known for tangling or matting, but you do want to brush them twice per week to remove dead hair and skin, just so you don't find hairballs all over your home. Other than that, general feline care is required. Good claw care or a scratching post for their claws is required. Brushing their teeth a few times per week to prevent periodontal disease is also recommended. Using a cotton ball soaked in a mix of cider vinegar and warm water to wipe out their ears about once per week is another thing to keep in mind. 11. Cypress Cat's Activeness The Cypress Cat is a very active cat, and very explorative and playful too. These cats love to hunt, they love to play, and they love to run around. They are known for being curious, adventure-loving, and they are always more than willing to hunt down prey. It's not the best cat to get if you don't have a lot of patience for a high-energy pet. 12. Cypress Cats Are Not Hypoallergenic The Cypress Cat is not hypoallergenic. It has a thick undercoat and sheds quite a bit, so it is not the best option for people with cat allergies. 13. Taking Care of Your Cypress Cat the Cypress Cat is about a 3 or 4 on a 1 to 5 cat care scale. They need a decent amount of care and maintenance. You will need to groom them regularly, which applies to their claws, coat, ears, eyes, and teeth. The Cypress Cat requires a decent amount of maintenance. They require regular grooming, regular checkups, people to play with, and lots of room to hunt and play. Although they can sometimes be very independent, for the most part, the Cypress Cat is very friendly, sociable, and playful. They tend to make for fairly good family pets. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.